can't even get through the show. We was just trying to talk to the sh- trying to do the show, man, and this this twenty twenty, and that's why I'm celebrating. For those who didn't hear the first start of the show, it's it's twenty twenty one in my mind. Fuck this year, man. I'm done with it. Tom Gr thirteen, welcome back. <laughs> You're the first new contestant on Fuck This Year. Breezy JJ's, welcome back. I don't know what happened to Shane. I sent him a message, told him I'm gonna restart. Nicole Sav, the one we see you, A1 Saucy app. Do you see why I'm saying fuck this year, y'all? <laughs> you see it? Do you see it? Can you tell? Pretty on the left and the right, thank you. Yoshiko White. Mm. I don't know where Shane is right now. But, uh, yeah, man. I, I keep trying to tell him to stop doing this show from uh, the driveway or the goddamn drive through. But uh, Velda Star, Casey, Miss Aver, welcome back, y'all. Dimple Snow. Let's see if we can uh, <laughs> wait a minute and get Shang back in here, man. But uh, this is what I'm talking about. It's just a, a clusterfuck of a year, man. It's just one of those, you know, go fuck yourselves years. Um, can't even can't even get through the one. Sh- We're talking about hurt and pain, losing brother Ch- Chadwick Boseman, you know, Jackie Robinson, James Brown. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. If you didn't see Spike Lee's latest joint, The Five Bloods, it's on Netflix. He was he was also very powerful in that, Brother Bozeman. Um, and also a wise man off stage. Um, so, you know, it's just one of those things where, uh, you know, not only did we lo- lose a, a talent on screen, but we lost a good mind. Oh, yes, pretty on the left and right, that's the other one. Cliff Robinson, only 53 years old, uh, former NBA player. Uh, he, he, he was a Detroit Piston at some point as well. Um, it would, which is significant to me, uh, Detroit basketball, but yeah, he was only 53 years old. So, uh, I mean, you know, please let those be the only three we lose. Like, you know, uh, please, like, please come on. Um, waiting on Shane to get in here. I don't know if uh, his phone got jumped or something like that, but, uh, I'm sure he'll be back soon. Uh, that being said, man, you know, this, this is one, uh, I'm in my living room, so I'm not going to pour, I'll just pour it in here. But that's for brother Chadwick Bozeman, brother, uh, John Thompson Jr., coach of the Georgetown Hoyas, and, uh, brother Cliff Robinson, former NBA player, three lives lost, but, um, definitely Chadwick Bozeman is one that, you know, I did not see or smell or hear anything about that coming, and, uh, yeah, that hurts, man. That hurts. Um, but that being said, I do hope the franchise can live on and that, um, you know, there's room for, uh, you know, another powerful black actor to step into that role and, and, and continue that because it is an image that we need to see. Um, and, you know, we've seen how many different guys play Batman, um, European Americans. So we can do the same thing and it won't be you know, in dishonor of him or disrespect. It would just be a continuation of, of a legacy that he has set forth. I mean, that, that's the point of doing a movie like that so that more are done. And he, he there was a contract to do like, I think five or six more movies. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, you know, it, they won't be with, with Brother Bozeman. But um, speaking of black entertainment real quick before we move on, um, if is anybody out there watching Lovecraft Country on HBO? Lovecraft Country. Um <laughs> this this is a show uh yeah, Casey, they will have big shoes to fill. Absolutely. You know, and you know, let, let's not think of it like that. Let let's have space for somebody else to fill shoes or create their own footprint. Um you know what I mean? But um if you guys are watching, I hope these yeses are for Lovecraft Country. Um <laughs> wow. I mean, holy horse shit, man. Um, this, is, this movie fucks, I mean, this show fucks my head up. It's J.J. Abrams and Jordan Peele, which will just, you know, this is some mind-melting shit right here. Um, hold on one second, y'all. Shang is trying to... I just got a message from Shang. Uh, he can't finish the show. His phone is overheated. That, that's something I've experienced out in the desert. So, um, yeah, I'm sure once it cools down, he'll, he'll be back, but, uh, it's on HBO. Uh, and I'm talking about Lovecraft country. 
and uh, it's the brother from Last Man, Last Black Man in San Francisco. And I was even thinking, like, what if they put him into the Black Panther role? Like, he, he's a, he's a popper. I like the I like the work he's doing. Courtney B. Vance. I uh, can't remember the sister's name either, but it, it, it's just a mind fuck of a show, and it's a mix of goddamn aliens and witches and fucking <laughs> vampires and and racism, just good old clan shit. So uh, yeah, you know everything that a, a Negro in America in 2020, now 2021, because I'm I'm past all of this shit. Uh, Jeanne Smollett, there you go. Okay, Jeanne Smollett, <laughs> is that what we doing? Jeanne Smollett. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Lovecraft Country, y'all. If you're not, if you haven't joined on yet, if you haven't seen it, HBO, Lovecraft Country, black show, black people, great black art. Publicity Mag is in the building. Hide your kids. Cover your ears. <laughs> there may be some cussing going on. Saluminati, welcome back. Uh, we see y'all. All right. So we'll, we'll get Shane back when we get Shane back. Uh, for now, I'm, I'm Black Pedro. We're just going to hold this down. This is what we're going to do. This is how we do it. Savage AF. I got the green light from Shane. He's just like, go ahead, bro. Finish the show. So we're going we're gonna to try and do that. Uh, Flynn denied. Michael Flynn, uh, you know, he, he was pardoned by the, by William Below the Bar, uh, Department of, uh, I mean, uh, our Attorney General, uh, head of the Department of Injustice. Um, but a court, uh, a lower court of appeals recently basically said that you can't just throw out the whole uh, Flynn case, right? And, you know, for those who don't remember, uh, Michael Flynn, um, former advisor to Trump, was, uh, you know, he admitted in court to lying twice, um, both to uh, Mike Pence and, I believe, to uh, Congress under oath. And, uh, you know, publicity, uh, I'm sorry, not publicity, but he publicly, <laughs> uh, you know, admitted his guilt and was sentenced to jail. And then William Barr just came in and, and, and completely pardoned his sentence and was like, no, we're not going to prosecute this, which is some, some crazy shit. RVA Gourmet, welcome to the building. Elaine K4 as well. Uh, we're talking about, uh, you know, the latest update in the Michael Flynn case where an appeals court has basically thrown out the idea that, uh, or rejected the idea that this case should be thrown out completely. Um, However, the problem is, man, and I, I'm kind of starting to see this as a waste of time, um, is that, you know, even, even if this judge does get uh, some push, yeah, and this is cronyism, Casey, but uh, the, the most this can lead to is, is some sort of investigation into the Justice Department's behavior, but essentially you're not going to get Michael Flynn prosecuted under this administration for anything like that's that's what this is like it's bill below the bar <laughs> being asked to prosecute you know somebody that would incriminate this administration like it's it's really not that see publicity mag that's why you got to come to school on time we, we we started off the show talking about the loss of of chadwick bozeman john thompson and cliff robinson of the nba so we got in there i i, I know you're dc heavy but we 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 laid down our recipes. I'm getting I'm getting drunk to it, so that's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's how we do. Um, so check this out. Um, uh, so you're asking William below the bar to to do his job, <laughs> which is something he's clearly said. Nah, that's not what we do. We the Department of Injustice. <laughs> so I'm here to undo all this shit. Um, and so basically, this judge is pushing for a prosecution with no prosecutor. Like there's just nobody to do, like they're not gonna do the thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. Um, it's, like, it's like asking the demolition team to clean up. You know, that, that's not what he's here. He's here to <laughs> tear this shit down, like not, not put the shit back together. So that shit ain't gonna happen, man. It, 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 it's pretty much a waste of time, but it does highlight the cronyism. And I think it's, it's one of those things where uh, what does Casey say? That's not his job. His job is cover Trump's <laughs> rather large ass. Now, see, I don't be watching the man's ass, but I'm glad you got your eyes on it, Casey. But no, that, that, that's, that's, what I, that's what I mean when I say the Department of Injustice. He's completely on, in cover-up mode, and, um, and, that, and that's what that is. And, and so you're calling that out. But yeah, that, you know, that's, that's not going to happen. But it does highlight the level of cronyism. And understand that's why it's so important 
that we go out and stop this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're sure, Casey, you at ass level, girl? That's all right, girl. We're going to get you some heels and get you on up, get you, raise you on up there. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, it's one of those things where that's why it's so important for us to, to undo what's going on right now. So vote it out. Woosah, we got to vote it out, our, out of our system, out of our political American system right now. This level of cronyism, right? Like, yeah, politicians hook each other up, but these niggas are egregious, dog. Like, they're doing, they're doing fucking dirt, dirt. And then just being like, here's a pardon for you and a pardon for you. I mean, they're passing out pardons. Like, it's that, you know, it's Vegas style and shit. Uh, Damien Hines, Samos, I see you, Stuns. X, Elena X, love, love, love to you as well. Um, so you got to understand, like, when, when your government, when your administration is doing it like this, like this egregious, like, they don't respect you, you know? It's like, that's like fucking your girl and, and looking you straight in the eye and just being like, what? What? You know what I mean? Like you Jerry Falwell's pool boy. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Yeah, yeah, your lady like it. She don't make noise like that. What you do, she, uh-huh. You ain't never heard that sound. Didn't know she could sing, did you? Ha! Yeah. So, you know, when they do that, that that's, you know, is we, we fighting. We fighting, man. Uh, I see Shang is back. We're going to add him. Uh, I see you, Shang. Let's go. <laughs> White people, wash your chicken and vote your man out. Listen. Miss Adverb is our new uh, <laughs> is our new publicity director, so we'll do that. Um, um, publicity Mag, I'm gonna tell him you called him a Teddy Graham too, um, Shane. And I, I did request him. He should be should, supposed to be coming in. I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe he'll join again. Oh, here we go. Rejoin. Rejoin. Boom. Okay. Waiting for Committee Shane. Here we go. I got a little dot dot dot. It's coming, y'all. Don't worry. I'm going to sip this gin. Stay cool. <laughs> 2020, you're not going to get me. You know why? Because I'm on 2021. What up, gangster? There you go. Hey, what's up, man? The phone, uh, the, a little uh, thing came up, said the phone was overheating. So I plugged it I mean? into the car, but, you know, you, know. What I mean? you know what I'm talking about. We've been there, man. But, uh, yeah, we were talking about the, uh, just kind of the pointlessness of uh, the, the, any furthering of this Michael Flynn case or whatever, because essentially you're asking William below the bar to do do his job or do what an AG should do, even though it's been highlighted here that his 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 actual job, his role is to is to just cover up for Trumpy Dumpty. So Well he's he's cause he's super corrupt. You gotta look at Barr has done multiple things that has been corrupt and it's if he's the top cop in chief as as they said, there's no one really checking him. Yeah. But they said that if if Trump does lose and the way they're starting it up right now, that there's a very good chance that he will get in trouble. He will be indicted. Yeah, man. And I don't know how you want to take this, but Publicity Mag is, is calling you a cutie Teddy Graham. So, you know. Uh, a what? A Teddy Graham. You know what I'm saying? I know. The Teddy, uh, cutie Teddy. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, yeah, but you know what? I just want to let uh, Publicity Mag know. That's a that I think that was a compliment in their world. I don't know. Okay, I don't know if that was, but if it wasn't a compliment, then... I'm, I'm going to let your mom know next time I'm over. Uh, publicity Mag, me, me and your mom has been, you know, having a sexual relationship for quite a while. I wouldn't even call it a sexual relationship. I would say I fuck her and leave. It's more, so, it's more like a, a BDSM club. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. So it's, it's, it's bang and bounce. That's what I call it, the bang and bounce. bang and bounce. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the old bang and bounce. So uh, if you want to down. Right, you want to start some shit? I, I'm, I'm fucking with you. Yeah, um, but uh, Bar, Bar, back, Bar really knows how to play the game. I give him, like, even, even in his, um, when he was in the hearings, he's like, I, I, I couldn't hear that. Could you repeat that? Could I repeat that? I, then the I, people I, would run out of time. They'd run out of time, and then he didn't answer the question. So he, he's a savvy old Muppet, and as, as Muppets go. I know, they, they, you know, he's, he's one of those slimy, greasy, European American guys that you just gotta watch. They're tricky. Always got something up their sleeve. Even when they got short sleeves. It's, it's something on their there's, shoulder up here. There's something on their shoulder. Wife but yeah, they're, they they're, they're full of shit. There. You know what I mean? Under the strap. They're so something. full of shit and you and, and Flynn Flynn pled guilty and he wants it to be dropped. I mean that's just that's blatant. It. But uh, um, you know what America has been doing that. You know, America's been doing that. America that's not new. America's been doing that forever. So why would never I be surprised? And ever, and ever. Yeah. All right, so Savage AF, Laugh Factory Radio, powered by Dash. Um, another thing that America's been doing forever is fucking co-opting black experiences, 
black struggles, black, black struggle, black culture, but into, some, into black something essence, else excellence. that it isn't. Um, and so I'm asking this kind of earnestly um, in the sense that I'm not criticizing uh, Black Lives Matters for their tactics or anything like that. But I am beginning to wonder um, about effectiveness in the face right. in the face of these outside entities coming in. You know what 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 the real narrative is is that during the daytime there are these peaceful protests, right? And then the night the sun goes down, and you know I see a bunch of like skateboard motherfuckers that don't look extremely black or negro-ish uh running around and throwing shit and hockey pucking and you know niggas don't have hockey sticks. oh yeah oh no uh, yeah, but, you know but they're hockey sticking the smoke uh, bombs back at the cops and, and throwing water bottles um and there seems to be this mixing and melding of different things you know i you know i i do believe that there are these right-wing fascists you know nazi motherfuckers who are using this as an opportunity to infiltrate and create problems um, in the create chaos. So I just, want to ask, I just want to ask, do, do we need, like, does Black Lives Matter, we as black people need to maybe figure out another strategy besides just being in the streets or like completely shut that shit off at sundown, all the real Black Lives Matter motherfuckers go home, then we can right. see who the other motherfuckers are. And then we can focus on something like boycotting economically. Like me personally, I would love for every Negro in America to not watch a second of the NFL this year because they were completely on the wrong side of the Kaepernick thing and now they're trying to completely jump it, back and I'm like fuck you and your whole dollars it's too late it's too late you already we already knew where you stood we already know what the bullshit is with that but I'm gonna tell you what it is is man uh, I think that that Black Lives Matter definitely that not only they're standing but you know the media coverage is getting smaller because the coverage of the nighttime shit is is bigger ratings. Let's keep it real. When people run around shooting and arguing and fighting, so they should absolutely shut it down at five. Say, look, uh, I'll shut it down at six o'clock. Sun's going down. Hey, deuces. We'll see you next time. And that's it. So they can't say, well, the protesters. They were protesting. No, they weren't. They were. They were gone. What the fuck are you talking about? You're making shit up now. He, they were gone. So I think they should do that and also definitely use the financial might that they have and also influence to start going full blast, like you said, target motherfuckers. Yeah. Target the Senate. Black Lives Matter, Matter, target the Senate. You want to see some change? Target the Senate. Make sure everybody that's down with Black Lives Matter go out and vote. Yeah. Turn it into a voter fucking black votes matter. And, and, and you know, you know we, we talked on this show about, you know, economic power and, um, you know, whether we own businesses or not, what we do own temporarily or for however long we can hold on to them are the dollars in our pockets. And um, we can take some ownership over, over where we put those dollars and how we spend them. Um, uh, so, you know, I, I, I would like to see maybe in addition to uh, the protesting, um, the peaceful protesting. And, and I say, if, if, if it's so obvious that it's, it's not, you know, that at nighttime it flips into something else, then all black lives, like they need to absolutely withdraw themselves from all nighttime action, right? to separate themselves from that completely. And then publicly just be like anybody out here after this curfew or whatever that, you know, then that's, that's on you. That, that ain't that, us. That, that, that ain't us. That's not our mission that we, but that's not going to happen because people, people, people do it because it's, tr it's trending. People you do it because well, you, have to do it. you have to do it though. Like as a group, I think it would be, you know, um, beneficial for them to do, and not that they haven't, but you know, to keep making sure they pump that message, making sure that their people are out of there when, the bullshit goes down and then, you know, taking the rest of their voice and, and gearing it towards, you know, more economic um, goals like, you know, like, yeah, boycotting corporate America. On well, you got to think about it this way. A white nationalist was walking around dressed, dressed up and painted his face black. And uh, so people would think he's black breaking windows. Um, there was a lot of Trump supporters that drove into fucking Kenosha, a two star trouble, shooting people with paintballs. Uh, paintball guns and shit like that and so if anything distancing from those idiots it was all of them a bunch of pussies all of them trying to run people over with their trucks get out the truck and bang it out with me bitch but no you're gonna run people over with trucks i hope y'all get get 
Simple that, in your eye. And that's one of those things. Tom GR13 is like, I like the boots on the ground. And conceptually, that's right. But when you say boots, right, that kind of is troops. And honestly, BLM ain't built for that. Like, they're not, they're not built for, like, this, like, war thing that, you know, little, now, the, little the, uh, the, Cracker 17-year-old brought. Right. You know, There's some people that right. are built for that. There are people that are built for that. And I'm I know saying, that they that, have a that's lot. Not, that's not the, and I'm not talking to BLM's heart or anything. I'm just saying, like, no. that's not their mission. That's not their position to that's be not a, their. That's not even what their, 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 the cause is about. Yeah, that's Yeah, not, let's go out. Yeah, so what bottom line is the, the, the no fucking around uh, coalition definitely got some moral issues going on, but in practicality what they're saying overall is what we need motherfuckers if that's the case we need motherfuckers out there like that because i'm telling you right now and even though this it was, i didn't want nobody i can't say that though um to lose their life that person was um down with a far right the person that got killed in portland was with a far right organization that is based in portland um he had the hat on he had the gear um, maybe maybe it's time that you know like you said that they know that you can get God too. You know what I mean? Uh, the, my, the young kid, 17, if they feel like, if they don't know, if they get God too a couple times, maybe it'll make them hesitate. So as fucked up as it sounds, part of me is like, well, you was doing the other shit and you ran into the wrong motherfucker. Yeah. That'll shoot back. El Noop, I see head. you. Uh, Eves underscore Apple 7916 is in the building. Hawk What's up, Eve? Eve. Eve. Let me go ahead and pin this information. We did the restart. Um, we're going to pin the information about the Savage AF t-shirts. Uh, make sure you grab a Savage AF t-shirt, Savage AF mask. All of them are listed on the uh, comp on the computer, on, uh, <laughs> on your the website. On your computator. Um, no, make sure you check that out. Make sure you tell your friends about it. And we'll, you know, get you out a t-shirt or a mask. Okay? So, uh, also... Make sure that you follow us on our Facebook page. Our Facebook page has been growing. Um, every time I do a boost, we see a great response. So, Facebook, it's Savage AF. Make sure that you uh, check us out on there. Aside from that. <laughs> Yoshiko White 1030 said, no NASCAR. I hope we were already boycotting that. <laughs> okay, guys, come on now. Yeah, come on now. I mean. Uh, no, but I feel you, though. But, um, you know, it's it's. We can start with our black dollars by how we spend them or don't spend them. And, um, you know, I, yeah, I would like f for Black Lives Matter, without being critical of them, I'm, you know, I'd say add to your agenda, uh, Black Lives Matter, if you're listening, add to your agenda, you know, um, concerted boycotts of specific targets um, and really, really, really push for that. Um, because if you can get all these people out into the streets, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get them to redirect their dollars towards something else. Uh, something that right. and, and also use your, makes America. Use, use that media attention and that, that mobilization power to go down the ballot and not only go against fucking Republicans that are uh, being dickwads, you go after sheriffs. The, that sheriff that would basically wanted to house us. He wanted to house us like in fuck, until we perish. That's what he said. He said that and so in Kenosha. And then also the, the way that they're talking about like ah oh, well you shouldn't have been on after after night after late you know after, um, curfew. after the curfew after curfew so you deserved it that insinuation is bullshit so in turn go after them too BM, BLM needs to use all of that 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 political fucking power and all the shit they did they need to use that to get the people out that we don't need in there these racist cunts and but they're gonna go somewhere else but at least they won't be in a position of power to shoot you in the back seven times right no for sure. Um, so yeah, man, let, let's, let's all focus our, our energies on, on ways that we can, um, you know, sort of positively change things. Right. Be, and again, you, you t I'm just a new gun owner talking and I'm saying before we go out and just start banging in the streets, um, we, I, we don't know, me, I don't know about that. Nigga, you ain't even got a gun yet. <laughs> I, what, I'm I, what, what I'm saying is nigga, the, I'm not, I, I don't got a gun first yet. Things first. <laughs> like shit. I, look, there's you enough got an of, army. You got an army, though. Look, army there's enough family. of me to make sure that this shit goes down, brother, and all five thousand of us will go out in the streets. How are you even I'm doing sorry. this shit? What is this shit? Is it's this? an it's, a, it's an app on your on the on the on the Instagram. What did I just do? Oh, look, yeah, I got some shit on my face now. I don't, I don't know what this. Is. I got a Chevy Camaro and some convertible motherfuckers on my face. Okay. Oh, your shit froze, Shang. Oh, God damn it. Did I freeze Shang? Did I kill Shang's feed? 
doing the fucking filter? Is that what happened? Oh, God damn it. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> what just happened? This nigga got me playing with buttons I shouldn't have played with, see? Shane, come back. You froze. You froze. You froze. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. All right. This is, this is legendary. Legendary tight end, Michigan. Go blue, man. I see you, big dog. I see you out there. We're going to get Shang back in the building. Um, but uh, so just keeping in with the theme of how do we move forward positively in this time right now, um, one thing I'm really trying to do, and I, I know I mentioned this a few weeks ago, and I, I recently got connected this weekend with some people that I think can, can actually help me. Um, but, and, and maybe the name will change, but right now I'm calling it Walk Your Vote, right? And what I want to do is, is reach out. Uh, thank you, Publicity Mag. I trimmed this myself. Look, Publicity Mag being nice today, she understands that that's how you get attention on this show, okay? I, often we say fuck your feelings, but really, we're a show with feelings that likes to, you know, exchange nice ideas. Um, but we just say motherfucker and dick fart a lot. Shawnee, I see you. Thank you. I'm glad you can hear me. So... I know we'll get Shang back in the building, man. Um, but, so, <laughs> Miss Averb, you are just foul. I love you, though. Um, <laughs> so, walk your vote. Here's my idea, right? And, and I, you know, maybe I won't bore you guys with it too much, but let me, let me read my little mission letter that I wrote this weekend that I plan to send out to, like, limousine services, Greyhound, Hertz Rental, Enterprise, like, anywhere that... I could get a bus or a van from, okay, then this, this is what we're trying to do, okay? So here, here, here's my little letter, and, and uh, hopefully it won't get too long for y'all. Uh, Many symbols and institutions represent the American ideal. Bald eagles, baseball, and apple pie are common examples, but nothing embodies the American democracy more than the right to vote, all right? During these unprecedented times, there are factors that are threatening the possibility of every eligible American exercising their fundamental right to cast a ballot in the 2020 election. A global pandemic, racial tension, natural disasters, uh, and unexpected delays in United States Postal Service deliveries all serve to potentially compromise the election process if specific efforts are not taken to alleviate these building pressures, right? Um, where did I go? So this is where walkyourvote.org is looking to serve as a logistical liaison for four resources we believe your organization can provide to help ensure as many Americans their ability to cast a ballot in this historic election. In addition to educating citizens about their options to exercise their right to vote prior to election day, the walkyourvote.org mission is to amass a network of buses and drivers as a shuttle service that allows registered voters, voters to physically drop off their absentee ballots at their local Secretary of State slash Registrar's office. Our goal is to target key states where voter turnout is critical, but also riskiest for our most vulnerable citizens during these turbulent times. Um, and I'm gonna stop there, there's a little bit more, but basically what I'm laying out is that in a pandemic, it is not wise to have everybody pile up at the voting polls on election day, right? So yes, you can physically in a lot of states go out earlier and vote. There are a lot of states are gonna have early voting, uh, you know, as far out as a week before voting day so that you can actually go to a poll early, okay? Um, but there, there are also situations where, and Publicity Mag right now, it's, not even, it's, a, it's an idea <laughs> that I'm still working on, right? We're, we're, yeah, but it's not for, I'm not trying to make money or anything off of that. Um, I'm not sure what kind of status I need to actually get any of this going, but, uh, you know, I'm starting, I know people and, you know, I'm just trying to connect all these dots with money and power and influence. Um, so yeah, GG1000 says, drop them off at the board of elections, not just drop them off. I'm going to pick them back up and bring them home too. You know, <laughs> just don't want to just throw them out the bus, like go vote. Bye. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about though. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So like, Taking our senior citizens in states like Florida, Georgia, Texas, Arizona, Pennsylvania, Ohio, my home state of Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, um, taking these, you know, senior citizens from their senior citizen homes and retirement homes who, who don't necessarily always have access to it, right? Take them physically to their, you know, board of elections, uh, 
state, a secretary of state or registrar's office, whoever handles, um, you know, whoever handles elections in your state, right? Physically pick people up and take them there, right? Why? When they could just mail in those absentee ballots, right? Well, we also see, you know, these sort of deliberate um, jabs at the postal service, right? That is, that is taking them down. You know, it's causing delays and it seems very deliberate that they don't want people mailing in their votes uh, because uh, Trump says he doesn't want people mailing in his votes. So that's, you know, not me really um, reading into it too much, just more like listening to all the words. Um, <laughs> but uh, that being said, you know, I, I sit back, I'm the kind of dude where I'm like, well, fuck your po postal service. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really need your postal service then. I could just take this goddamn letter and drop it right off to the address that I wanted to get to. And uh, that's my goal is to uh, not only alleviate pressure at the polls on uh, election day so that people aren't standing in long lines um, and, and potentially exposing themselves to a, a virus unnecessarily, um, but also to alleviate our, our, our postal system and, and workers from the stress of trying to you know deliver uh, mail and ballots uh, you know, under conditions that are meant to prevent that. So, you know, fuck it. Mailman, take a day off. <laughs> We're going to drop these off ourselves. So, so that's my goal, my mission. I guess what I'd like, the reason I'm presenting this is, is not only to, um, you know, inspire your first of all for you all to, uh, you know, figure out where you can go earlier to drop off your ballots. Uh, and let me look through my save stories here because I have um somewhere in here an article that kind of lays out where like how you can vote early in each state um but but look it up right like really really look it up in your state how you can vote early um understand that you can actually just take get an absentee ballot right and 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 so that's the first, okay so let, let's start from the top i'm getting ahead of myself first of all Take your black, European, Asian, brown ass out there and register to vote if you're not registered, okay? First of all, kick yourself in the ass for not being registered already. Then don't beat yourself up too much. Go register. Make sure you get registered. Register to vote is something you can do online right now, but um, deadlines are coming up. So get registered first. Then um, if you don't want to go to the polls uh, either early on or on election day, acquire an absentee ballot. Uh, go pick one up if you have to, but uh, do that, okay? Uh, and I guess publicity mag, you're right. Don't buy liquor and chicken wings with the donations, um, unless that's what they're, unless it's a chicken wing and liquor foundation, um, then totally appropriate. But um, acquire an absentee ballot and understand that you don't have to mail that in. So then when Trumpy Dumpty talks about, oh, it's going to be fake and ballots are going to get lost and blah, 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 you know what? I believe him because he's saying he's, that's what he's going to do. He's going to lose your ballots. He's going to take, he's going to put them in the post office, pile them up in the corner and be like, oh, they didn't get here fast enough. Um, so yeah, trust me. He always, whatever he says is going, the other guy is going to do, that's what he's going to do. So he's going to get rid of your mail ballots. So walk your shit in. Okay. You can, you can, if, if the Pedro vote bus don't come pick you up, <laughs> you can, you can, if you have access, you can go drop your own shit off part one for one then there's no fraud, nothing, right? You just, you go and you put your own shit in there and you can do it weeks earlier, starting in October in a lot of places. So um, do that first. Um, but secondly, I'm asking you guys for the help of, if you know anybody who is connected with any kind of um, limousine service or rental service or bus service that, uh, you know, might be able to uh, help out here, um, I'm, I, you know, as far as I can tell right now, I'm probably looking for a fleet of like 12, a dozen vehicles or so. Um, and you know, I'm still kind of trying to figure out in calendar of how to do this. Um, but I can't stay on long today, prime minister of taste. I got to get to work today. But, uh, um, you know, if anybody has any info in that area, uh, I'm, I'm looking for all kinds of, of help. Um, my alumni, my black alumni association, the association of black Princeton alumni, uh, had a, a voter readiness panel this weekend. And RVA Gourmet, if you're still on, your, your girl Satana DeBerry was uh, all impressive as always. Um, uh, so, you know, I got a lot, of, a lot of good advice and I think some con connections made. 
Um, but, you know, this letter I'm writing and going to send out is, is just getting a ball rolling. But this is a community thing. So even no matter what scale I get this up to, understand that now this information is in your ears and I, I'm putting it upon you to pass it out to your community to say, hey, are you registered to vote? Are you going to vote? And are you aware of all the different ways you can vote, um, both, you know, safely, securely, so that you don't have to risk your health or your rights and you can still be an American. And then if the shit hit the fan and doesn't work, at least you voted. And when you start burning down buildings, you'll have a reason why, you know what I mean? It's because they stole your vote or whatever. But if you don't vote and you burn down the building, then that's just arson, okay? That's all, that's just arson. But if you vote and then burn down the building and you say it's because I didn't vote, then that's political protest. And your, your defense attorney will have uh, you know, a hell of an easier time um, defending that. So, uh, but either way, my point is you're going to end up in court, uh, but go vote anyways, right? If you're going to go <laughs> vote anyways. Uh, and yeah, Publicity Mad Greyhound is on my list. It's one of the people I'm, I'm, or entities I want to target uh, for sure. And understand that, um, you know, I'm, my plan is to totally, you know, socially distance the buses, like not full capacity, obviously, half capacity, staggering the load up and load in and yeah you know trying to help trying to do this uh and the right way um wait gg 1000 just caught my eye here brianna taylor's boyfriend is a snitch i gotta read up on that i don't, <laughs> I don't know what that's about uh, unless he's your ex or something like that I, and i feel you girl but um but yeah uh i, I, I gotta figure out what that's about but uh sticking back with this guys it, it, it's all of our duty to work together to do this um I, I see some very egregious things going on where, you know, this administration is very deliberately trying to dismantle um, the postal system in order to prevent mail-in voting. And I'm trying to figure out ways around that. You, you know, if you try and stop me from doing something, I'm going to figure out three good ways to get it done without you even knowing. Um, but that being said, I think that responsibility is is on all of us okay is to is to put that on our shoulders um spread this word to our community do research yourself okay get online figure out where do i register to vote execute that vote acquire a ballot mail that or drop that off right um figure out if you got a car if you got a big ass van go find the go find the old people in your neighborhood go find the the, the young brothers in your neighborhood that, that aren't engaged but need to be all right S swoop them up Field trip, everybody hop in. You know what I mean? Back the pack of in the back, man. Get them out there, okay? Do your part. All right. Let's 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 let's, let's get it going. It takes a village um, <clears throat> to raise a child. It also takes a village to kick a child out the White House. <laughs> so understand that we're going. It's going to take everybody to do this. And you know, uh, one thing that was brought up on the panel, or no, sorry, several things that were brought up on the panel, um, but one in particular was, you know, somebody on, on this, you know, Princeton alumni panel was like, uh, no, nah, I'm not voting. I don't like either candidate. And, you know, every, every panelist on there said everything that I've ever said to y'all, which is if you do not vote, then you're not participating in this process. And if you're not participating in this process, right? So I'm a weed head, y'all. You know, know, if you didn't put in on this, you ain't smoking, man. <laughs> you didn't put in on this, man. You know what that is, right? So you got to put in on this before you really just sit back, talk shit, and puff on my blunt, okay, nigga? Because I smoke that goody good. So you ain't just going to be hitting my shit and then, and then you know, eating up my Cheetos and then, and then bounce? Nigga, what? No, okay? Put in on this, man. You know, you got five on it, put in on it, right? Then you can talk your shit. If you pay for the weed, and then you go, oh, nigga, this some out though, right? You, you want your $5 back? Okay, you put in on it? Fine, fuck it. All right, you ain't satisfied with the goddamn sativa? Well, fuck it then, okay? You, you, got, you have a voice now because you, you, it's your five, okay? But if you didn't put in five and you're like, oh, nigga, this ain't, nigga, this is free. This is mother, it's free and you didn't pay shit. Shut your ass up. And I look to my left because that's how the fucking thing gets passed. God damn it. All right, guys, so... Well, we're low on time here, but um, yeah, I know this was a rough weekend, man, but uh, yeah. <laughs> AJ Fit 365 said, Shane can't connect to McDonald's Wi-Fi. He's like these little kids in Salinas, California. 
I, I want to talk about that tomorrow, actually. But um, yeah, man, <laughs> we got had some connection issues with Shane today. Uh, so, you know, we just had to roll rough. But that, that's how we are. We're a Savage AF. We, we Savage AF crowd. I appreciate you all for rocking with us through, through all the hard times. Uh, A1 Saucy, I can't bring you on now, but I'm about to be out, dog. I'm about to, we about to da- bounce, man. That's what it is. Uh, but I thank y'all all for being here, man. I got to get to work today. Um, but, uh, again, this, this was a, a very, very tough weekend. All right? Beyond all the things that are already going on, we lost – uh not three not just three brothers but three good ones but um you know i hate to do this but but the, yeah the loss of of chadwick bozeman was you know i think a, a very great one you know john thompson jr uh his legacy lives on right and he 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 is history and and got to live a, a full full life uh cliff robinson died young 53 years old um and you know it's a loss in the NBA community, but man, when you talk about what Chadman Bo- Chadwick Bozeman had done so far, and all the things that you could imagine him doing um, in the future, um, and 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 the roles that he played, you know, Jackie Robinson integrated Major League Baseball, um, James Brown, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, he, he's the godfather of soul, but, you know, his, you know, I'm black and I'm proud. Like, just think about his voice. You know, he, 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 was, he was black politics through music in his time, you know. Um, and, and honestly, Get On Up was like, I was blown away by Bozeman's performance in that. So, and then, and then all that Black Panther means to all of us is just, um, it's devastating. So this, this was a tough weekend. And, um, you know, after a tough week of RNC live bullshit um, and, and then, you know, uh, you know, just violence and crackers running the streets with guns. Um, but but let's stay focused because we, we there, there are still ways we can fight, fight, fight without blowing each other's heads off just yet. <laughs> OK, let's make sure we get out there, register, vote, um, absentee, walk it in. Follow your goddamn male man around the block if you have to. But let's make sure that we get it in and help those who can't get it in, get it in. All right. Because like I said, it takes a village, y'all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my black ass ready for work. But we will be back here tomorrow, Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And for all those who've been asking for it, I promise you that you will get at least one day of Savage AF after dark, y'all. All right. I promise you, you will get, we will give y'all that extra time and that love because y'all give it to us. And we truly, truly do appreciate it. Uh, that being said, probably going to uh, send out an APB for Shane. Just to make sure he's all right. <laughs> y'all, y'all check for him too, y'all. We Savage AF. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. We're out. <laughs>